All right, welcome back to the next lesson in the Next Gen Garage tutorial. And here we're going to be looking at differential preload. Now what this basically is, is it sets an amount of locking force that will be present during acceleration and deceleration. The more preload we add, the more locking we have, which when you let off the throttle will make the car tight, and when you get on the throttle will make the car loose. So right now we got the diff set with zero preload, so we have no locking in it. Let's take it out and drive it and see what we get. side or the other to the other end of the spectrum or to the other extreme and see that a fully lock we have there's the most there's much different we can get into it how that will affect the handling of the car. And we'll come down here and we'll by default with, with all the rest of the testing we've been doing it's been at 25 foot pounds so let's take it up to 75 foot pounds which is the maximum amount we can have. And let's see how it affects the car. the number on our diff preload the more locking we'll have so no so the lower number is going to make the car more neutral as far as the rear axle is concerned it's not going to have much much of any effect on the uh, on the handling but the higher the number is going to make the car more throttle depend or more throttle sensitive so with the higher the number, the more throttle you give it, the more the car is going to loosen up under throttle. And when you're off throttle, it's going to tighten up. So tighten up when you let off and loosen up when you get on it with the higher number. That basically covers our diff preload or 
how the differential affects to handle it. And we'll see you in the next one.